Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk to you about the person you live with in the same house. And this is much broader. Please don't conclude that I'm talking only about the person you stay with, your sibling and so forth. Listen very well. And please, I want you to catch this, okay? One of the greatest regrets that people have when um maybe they're going through uh, breakups, especially those who were staying together while still in a relationship or a divorce for that matter or separation especially those that divorce because they become almost like strangers you know what i'm saying one of the things that causes those things is that thing you they get to know each other deeper to an extent where you can choose to undermine that person or so forth you can look at the Bible. It speaks about that Jesus would not perform so much miracles in his own time town. And he also said things like, a prophet is not is without honor in his place of birth. Be all because like you can see this thing. Why is the cause? Why was Joseph's dream despised by his brothers? Because they all stayed in the same place. They knew his weaknesses. They knew his strength. So let me tell you, like, the person that you stay with in the same household is most dangerous. Delilah was able to get through Samson because she stayed with him. She was able to emotionally blackmail him. You don't love me and all these things until he gave in. Jesus, they would not accept how could he speak like that? Because they stayed with him so long. They knew his family. They were like, uh, isn't this the son of the carpenter Joseph? And his sisters and brothers not among us. How come he can to show that they knew him? Or at least you can say they thought they knew him. They knew it's not some as a, a stranger way they, they were saying, where is he from? That is why with a stranger, of course, you're going to ask, where are they from? But other than where are they from? You know, nothing. Let me trust in this person. That is why it is easy to accept healing, to accept things from a stranger or to accept, uh, to use faith on a, to trust on a stranger than someone who you know. If you know that this person is known as a liar, I know my friend, the day they speak the truth, it is hard to believe why. Already you have your records. You have the file that says this person likes lying. Even when they're telling the truth, it is hard. But someone who you have never had lying or telling the truth, when they speak the truth, you know the saying, first impressions, they count, right? The same thing. So now I want to tell you that likewise, one of the biggest regrets is the people they live with. Now they know these things. I shouldn't have shared. That's why I say, Especially when you're still in a romantic relationship, don't share until you know that somebody you are get you are married to them. At least there I can't guilt you because you become family, isn't it? Even if you end up separating, something happens. Uh, there I cannot really fault you. Things they just happen, but it is more risky when you're still in a relationship. The person can wake up and say, "I'm not interested," and that's it. You are, they are done with it. Next thing, they are with the next person. You are done for. And if they know your things, if you, they know the secret, you are done for. You taught them everything they know, how to do business, how to, how to. Even in your household, they can be dangerous. That is why I want you to look all the sides. Learn to stand with a uh, trust no one. And trust no one means nobody there are things that if you are to simplify pray to the lord to help you know how to do it okay but myself at least something which i have tangible is that ishmael learn to have things that you feel like ah even though you are married if your wife may god forbid but if you were to ever separate with your wife um would you, how would you feel if you were to separate her knowing this thing about you? Not a secret, not a dirty secret for that matter. I mean, like, let's just take maybe I know how to make money, how to build a business, all those things. And then she's to separate. And then uh, while knowing that I taught her everything, she's going to go. If she runs with the ball, she's going to go far. You got what I'm saying? There are those things that you feel like, ah, oh, no problem. 
ah, I don't care. You get what I'm saying? And that those things where you'd be like, this one is for me as for, at the moment. And uh, I think it was going to hurt me. So as a result, what if your brother was to say this? What if your brother is to start telling people this thing? You see, I can now know that this thing, no, I wouldn't be happy. So yes, that thing, for now, keep it to yourself. Until you are ready that even if my brother, your brother or your sister is to slip up and say it, you don't care, then I share. That is how you be careful. That is how you are ready. I pray, may the Lord help you to guide you and to control your tongue among those who are like the Judas Iscariots of your life, who are like the brothers of Joseph of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. And of course, you can also book an appointment with me. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.